Well, there's no better way to end your weekend, or at least if you have a three day weekend with a beautiful sunset out there as we look at our fifth third bank cam. Of course, downtown, we got the walleye game going on as well. So a little bit of a busy night out for your Sunday night if you have off tomorrow. Let's look at those current temperatures just into the mid to lower 30s right now. 34 in Toledo, 32 in Wauseon, just in Bryan, just around 32 degrees. Defiance right at 35 degrees. Let's take throughout the next couple of hours. Well, we'll see those temperatures just into the mid 30s. We head closer to midnight. Well, those temperatures are going to drop off at least into the upper 20s. But by wake up on Monday, we'll be back into the lower 30s. So it'll be a lot warmer of a start to our day. At least what we saw this morning where temperatures were in the teens. But as we head into Monday afternoon, we'll actually those temperatures warm up even more, possibly into the lower 40s, even upper 30s, upper 40s. And some spots like Ottawa, even upper Sandusky, you can likely see temperatures close to 50 degrees. And of course, that's still above average for this time of year. As we head back into Monday afternoon into the evening hours, We'll be back into the lower 40s and upper 30s in most spots. Let's look at radar satellite right now. Not much going on, but as you take a wider look, well, that's going to be our next rainmaker right here. That'll be moving to our area as we go throughout Monday and even into Tuesday morning. So to time it out for you as you take it through our hour by hour forecast, well, we'll stay mostly dry for most of your morning. So if you ever want to get any plans done in the morning, you should be good to go. I was only like to see mostly cloudy skies out there for you. As we get into afternoon hours, that's when those showers start to come into our area. And they'll eventually be widespread soaking showers for you as we head into the evening hours of a Monday. Those showers will continue into the later part of a Monday night. Eventually, those showers will start to move off to our east. And eventually, we stay mostly cloudy as you go into your Tuesday, but as well as you go into your Wednesday. So those cloudy and cold conditions are going to stick around for a little bit longer. Let's look at our umbrella forecast. May need that umbrella if you're heading out for your Monday. May need it at times for Tuesday, but we'll be nice and dry by our Wednesday before we see another rain chance. Come back into our area as we go into Thursday. So overall, going to be a bit of a wet week out there, but those temperatures well above average still as we go into Monday. We'll still be in the mid 40s. We'll climb up to 51 degrees as we head into Tuesday. By Wednesday, we'll start to see those showers taper off a little bit. Eventually, by Thursday and Friday, we'll start to see a few showers by Thursday and we'll be dry at least by Friday. But as you can tell, over the next 10 days, we'll still likely be above average with no snow chances in sight for the next 10 days.